break it down. Um, the, the daylight, the introduction to the daylight versus Chilla Jones shit. Um, how did I start that shit off? Uh, I started off with a, a Vendetta One. Uh, let me ask the mass. Was it the mass that got all of y'all noobs attracted to the black dude? You know what I'm saying? So you know noobs, uh, black dude, noob say by black dude. You know what I mean? After that, I was like, mm okay, mm okay, mm okay. Now, people didn't know what I was saying MK for, but I was saying like MK, like MK, letter MK, Mortal Kombat. And uh, and I was like, uh, they said I might get robbed at Vendetta 2 if I'm not still armed with lines, judges, I gotcha in a Jax move. So, MK, MK, so you know, Jax still armed, the still arms had lines on them. Um, when Jax does a move, he says, gotcha, you know what I'm saying? So. They still wasn't getting it. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And I was like, uh, what about UW? When I hit Arsenal, then I hit Ray Den. I hit, well, I hit Arsenal, then I hit Ray Den. When I hit Arsenal, then I hit Ray Den. Told him I'll be Thunderhand. But, you know, they thought I said the Underhand. But I said I hit Arsenal, I hit Ray Den, and told him I'll be Thunderhand. Like, Thunderhand. And uh, they still was like, I was like, mm okay, mm okay, mm okay. And then I was like, uh, of the shoulders year, a sharp line up. How did I get over here? I showed you I could score. Peon niggas don't understand. Mm okay, mm okay. I just kept going with it. Um, um, mm okay, mm okay, mm okay. Uh, and I was like, uh, 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 how much I get paid? Uh, sigh. Racks, my network green. Every sector vector know I could draw with the claw out. You know what I'm saying? So Cyrax, uh, he shoots the green net. You know what I'm saying? Uh, every sector, you know, as in sector is his brother. Cyrax sector, every sector vector, you know, I can draw with the claw out. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, everybody knows sector, fucking claw comes out of his chest or whatever. You know, grab a nigga, whatever. But you know how much I get paid, size and deep breath, racks, like amount of money, my network, you know, our network green, whatever, boom, so they still was like, whatever, whatever. So I kept, I hit them again, okay, okay. Um I was like, check my PayPal, I got five hundred thousand. I got five hundred thousand in my PayPal. Uh uh wait, check my PayPal, five hundred thousand. I got money in the web spinning. I showed you our cabal out. So you know, cabal. You know what I'm saying? Money in the web. You know, he, he fucking run past you. You be in the fucking web spinning, whatever. So I just kept going. They still was like, yo, what, what's going on? I kept going, okay, okay, okay. And then, um, what was that? Uh, I was like, uh, well, this one's for the women. I wonder, can she see I would leave be lying folded? So, you know, can she blindfolded with the knife? Look, um, okay, okay, okay. I told you I'm nice. You seen what I did to Ice. Good night, Wolf. You know what I'm saying? Night, Wolf. Everybody knows, whatever. Uh, and I said, uh, my purple niggas, they rain king. You know, purple rain, rain character. If you think this is a big joke, they were still like, yo, is he still going? I was like, okay, okay. They followed along with me. And I was like, bro, please, you get left toasty. If my man come from the corner and press start at the right time, nigga, you would get smoked. You know, it's for, for the old Mortal Kombat fans, you know, the toasty nigga come from the corner. You know what I'm saying? And if you press start at the right time, nigga, you get the fight against the character Smoke. You know what I'm saying? So that I kept going. I was like, mm K, mm K. They was just like, no, he's still going. And I was like, Verb dumbass think he could beat me. He must been sniffing that Lou Kane again. And they was like, and I was like, nigga, you gonna need some huge luck. It was like, oh shit, he's still going. I was like, okay, okay. I was like, uh, bringing them weak ass to the, wait, I was like, bringing them weak ass punches to the boss. <laughs> Nigga, you suck. You know what I'm saying? And everybody know when you do a weak punch, fucking Shao Kahn laughs in the background, like, haha, you suck. That was pretty much the whole Mortal Kombat scheme. But that shit was crazy. Like, it, it fucked the building up, like, when I was done with it.
was definitely a crazy battle, man. Definitely a crazy battle. I'm not going to do no recap of the bars or anything, man. I'm going to leave that up to my nigga CJ City. I hit CJ up on Twitter, so hopefully he'll do a bar-for-bar bar breakdown of this battle. Um, he's definitely more qualified in it than I am. But it's been a lot of talk, man, whether or not this battle was better than Chilla Jones versus JC. I was in the building for Chilla Jones and JC. I personally like that battle better, but this one was definitely, definitely dope. Um, let's just get right into the rounds, man. Let me skip the round two. Round two, I gave the daylight. I like the pound scheme he had. I like the Walkman scheme he had. You know what I'm saying? He just had everything working in round two, and I was fucking with his round a little bit more than Chilla Jones' round. As far as round three, um, Chilla started out with a mistaken scheme. Yo, that shit was crazy, man. You know, that's probably one of my favorite... Um, bars or scheme to Chilla spit in this battle. I gave I gave Chilla Jones round three even though Daylight had a crazy rock paper scissors line That shit was bananas, but I still gave round three to Chilla Jones And uh, we may look back like a year from now man and realize that that rock paper scissor line might be one of Daylight's best lines He ever spit and it might be one of them bars where you kind of look at that can be like his signature bar kind of like you know Big T LeBron James or remains of or whatever it can kind of be that signature bar that you refer to daylight, you know what I'm saying? It was just that crazy. Now, as far as round one, I gave round one to Chilla Jones. I felt like he was just a little bit more consistent. It was a little bit hard to judge the first round because daylight went for six minutes. Chilla Jones went for four minutes. I gave a round to Chilla Jones because the MK scheme that daylight spit, even though it was dope, it was a little bit longer than it probably needed to be. It went for like over two minutes long. And also, I don't know if he should have started his round with it. You know what I'm saying? As soon as the battle started, he went to it. I think people really didn't know where he was coming with it, and I think he lost a little bit of the crowd from the start. He had kind of a slow start, even though he had people laughing with the MK, MK, or whatever, but people really didn't know where he was going with it. So, so yeah, just based on that, man, I thought Chilla Jones' first round was a little bit more consistent than Daylight's first round. So I got the battle 2-1 Chilla Jones, classic battle. This is probably one of the best battles Chilla's had. You know what I'm saying? Since since the JC battle, in my opinion, and, I, and honestly, I can't find any flaws in Chilla Jones round. Thing too, man, I'm starting to really, really look into this Daylight versus uh, Loaded Lux. I really think that could be a dope battle. Now, I never really thought maybe six months ago that I was even interested in that battle, but just listening to uh, Daylight spit in this battle, he sounds more and more like Lux. I don't know if Lux will battle him, to be honest with you. Like, I think somebody asked him one time, either on Twitter. Or in a blog and it seemed like he wasn't really interested in the battle when you look at the landscape of battle rap after murder mook is really nobody from the battle man you got a verb as a possibility maybe you know what i'm saying you got charlie clips but i actually think daylight might be that dude that might be his best competition you know what i'm saying so i actually wouldn't mind seeing that battle now um a lot of y'all, he threw some bars at Averb in the first round Daylight did. And a lot of y'all may not know Daylight versus Averb will go down on Guerrilla Warfare in August from everything that I'm hearing. So y'all will probably be seeing a flyer or a trailer on that sometime soon. Yeah, shout out to the Facebook group. I'm working on two blogs, man. One of them is going to be KOTD. It's been a lot of talk about them booking a lot of urban street battle MCs. So I'm going to talk about that in a blog and another blog called Seven Questions. And what that is, is a lot of people ask me certain things about battle rap behind the scenes, politics, battles, battle rappers, whatever. And I'm going to try to answer seven important questions in battle rap from, from the little bit that I know behind the scenes. I'm going to try to bring that to, to a blog. And every time I get seven questions, I'm going to create a new blog. So it's just going to be a reoccurring series, man, called the seven unanswered questions of battle rap. And every time I get seven I'm going to do a new blog. So if you got any questions you want to answer, anything you want to know about battle rap, anything that I may be able to answer, you know, I talk to a lot of league owners, a lot of battle rappers. I may know some some, some stuff behind the scenes that y'all don't know. Put it in the comment section, man. I'll try to get the answer to you and do it in a blog. And that's what it is, man. Unbiased Review, known for it. Coming soon. RBE coming soon. Uh, no Holds Bar, Queen of the Ring coming soon, Slaughterhouse, man, make sure y'all get out and support Battle Rap, whatever whatever league you want to support, make sure y'all get out and support Battle Rap, shout out to the Facebook group, Unbiased Review.